I'm 52 and I originate from down in the south west. Um, my family name Woods is famous for, for that region so I'm um, I'm a little bit of a mixer, I'm a bit of a Noongar, I'm a bit of a Yamaji and I'm a bit of a um, Wongai. I couldn't stay down in the Great Southern and get married because I was related to everybody so I had to move. And that movement involved meeting up with a guy, a local Yamaji man called Sandy Davies. And between us we've got eight kids, 48 grandkids. And I'm hoping that they've now paid their electricity bills so we won't have to have any more grannies. Um, never a, um, a dull moment. Thoroughly love um, what I do. Currently my role is the CEO of the Jordan Aboriginal Medical Service, a position that I've held now for some six years. It was one of those incidents where typical busy woman never had time to go and have um, an appointment and um, thought oh, it's all right I'll catch him next time but there was a, a, a some sort of a, a little I suppose a little warning inside of me that just said oh bugger it go along and you know go and do your appointment um, I had um, had the, the pictures taken as you do and good old bit of a giggle and a chuckle with the girls because all us ladies know what you have to do when you go and have a mammogram um, um, examination done and um, it's a time to have a bit of a light-hearted joke with oneself. Once so long after I uh, received a letter from Breast Screen WA. So what they'd found was that there was a dark patch the size of a 50 cent coin on my right breast. So they basically said to me, oh, okay, it's cancer. It's, it's in your breast. It's about the size of a, um, of a golf ball and we need to operate immediately. And I just said, look, I don't want to die. And if the only way that I'm going to live is that you, you are going to take off my breast, then we need to do that now. And they basically said, look, had you not gone for your mammogram, um, we wouldn't be talking about options. There wouldn't be an, an option for you. It's been a fair while now. It's been a couple of years. I'm, I'm cancer free. My regret was that, you know, two years ago, had I attended the appointment first, they would have detected it earlier and they would have probably been able to treat it a little bit differently instead of um, as aggressively as what they've done now. I think one of my messages to our ladies is, is, to, is to love your body. And by that I mean look at your body, touch your body, do yourself tests. If any, any, anything changes, no matter how significantly small you think it is, because let's not forget, I, I got a pain in the chest and I thought, oh, just rub some Denko rub on it, pulled a weight, you know, I had a bit of, bit of weight session, it was probably that, but it wasn't, it actually was my cancer. Um, just go and see the, doc the doctor and if you're not happy, go and see another doctor because sometimes those little signs are the only sign you get.